Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan Huggins here. And in this video, we are going to be unboxing our new Weber Kettle Grill, a re original Kettle Premium Red Kettle Grill. All right, everybody. So like I said, this is going to be the original Kettle Premium. We're going to go ahead and open it up. I called my local hardware store here in Laguna Beach, Coast Hardware and they had one left in stock so i rushed over and got it today is father's day and my dad and my family are coming over so i wanted to uh, have a cool barbecue for them and we went ahead and got the grill i've been wanting this grill anyway so it's just a great excuse so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside all right, so first and foremost, you get the Weber Grills app. Download the free Grills app, your most valuable grilling tool, uh, which is pretty cool. So I didn't even know that they had an app, but I will definitely get into that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this here. And inside you get the owner's manual. There you go. And also the assembly guide so we'll go ahead and be assembling this piece today as well we'll keep those uh, handy so if you've seen any of my other unboxing videos you know it is very important to follow the directions that come in the box all right so first and foremost we got the lid here so the color you can see in the sun there it's a nice not like a bright red like a fire engine red but more of a burnt red and then it also comes with the temperature controller. Let's see the best way to open this thing here. There we go. All right, so in here you get a couple of the other pieces as well. So this is gonna be the handle for the actual top. There you go, so that's gonna go on the top. This is another piece for the bottom. You can see these here. All right, let's see what we got in here. This is the thermometer. So with the premium one, it does come with the built-in thermometer. So that way you can kind of control the temperature of your grill, which is important for cooking and smoking and stuff like that. So there's our thermometer. This is another handle. So obviously there's gonna be a handle for the side for dragging it. Hey Louie, what's up? Put these here. Don't wanna lose any of the screws obviously, so we're gonna to try to keep all of this together. The trash can go off to the side. And so along with the temperature controller, they do also give you this here, which is the ash catcher and this will catch all the ashes, so you can just simply throw them away nice and simple there. All right, so there's that. And then in here you get the actual bottom of the kettle. And as you can see, this is a big one, okay? So we got the 22 inch. This is the larger one of the grills. There is also a couple smaller sizes as well. I don't want to break anything, so there we go. All right. So again, this is going to be for your fins on the inside for temperature control. There you go. That allows the airflow to go up through the actual grill. Set that there. Part of the frame. Another part of the frame. And another part of the frame there. You've got your wheels so you can wheel it around. You've got your grill here. So this is gonna be your top grill. It also has these flaps so you can fold in. There you go. So you have your main grill that goes this is also going to be for the bottom part this is your charcoal holder 
which goes below the grill. Like so. So now you have your whole kettle set up. This here. Goes upside down. This piece will go right inside. Let's see here. Look at the instructions. We do it properly. All right, so there's a little one section here that has the groove, which this temperature controller goes inside the groove. three snaps in with the holes. So let's see here. These are obviously going to go around the... All right, there, snaps into place. So that snaps in. As you can see here, the adjustable temperature gauge has the sliding hole, the other sides do not. And then the legs snap into place on these three different parts there. So now the bottom part is on its way for assembly. So we got that snapped in there. Step number three is to insert the legs. So we got those legs there. And what they want you to do is use these little snaps. So we're going to do the crossbar here. And they give you these little snaps. And then you'll insert it with the V part down. So you're going to insert this. Here, I'll just do it right here. There you go. All right, so now that's in place. All right, that was step number three, done. Now, step number four. Step number four is to insert that into one of the legs. Doesn't matter which one. It's the one where the handle will go. All right, so it's gonna be, so what you'll do now is search out the handle, which is right there. And we're gonna pop this into the hole. And it does say do not hit it with a hammer or anything like that. So uh, it does say it's gonna take some pressure. Boom, snapped in. All right, so leg number one is nice and snapped in there. We're ready to go. Step number five is grab another leg and another V snap. And we will install this one just the same. So there's two holes though. So let's make sure we put it in the right one. Number five says to put it in when you're looking at it like so on this side. All right. So step number five, snap that in to that one. Boom. There you go. And then you will snap this one in to the leg that has the opposite side of the adjuster, of the adjuster slider. It'll go onto the opposite side of that. So that'll go here. Boom, snapped in. All right, so that one's there. Number five is done. Now, we go to number six. Number six 
We did, actually, inserting is number six. Number seven is we are gonna take the bottom brace and we are going to hook it into the leg that is straight and put it through there, all right? So, and then this will pop into there as far as that goes. So we're gonna go, we know that it's gotta go up that way. That's gonna go there. I need to put that in there, like so, and then feed that through there, all right? So, now you've got the little holes hooked in there, and you've got that poking out of the side. That was number seven. Number eight was to fl flip it over like so. Number nine is to work on the last leg, the last snap. And this one is to align on the left hole. So as you can see here, the check mark is there. So we're gonna again line it up there. So we take this, snap it in, boom, it's ready to go. All right, then we will insert the leg, which is gonna be step number, so that was nine and 10. Number 11 is to place them all four together. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in. Boom, it's in there, turn this one. So the angle on that is not correct. So we need it to be the other way. So with that being the case, let's go ahead and remove that. Maybe this V-snap, I put it in the wrong side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it over. I must have put it in the wrong one. I needed it over here. something a stick or something I'm gonna use these pair of super shears the other side slide it over now it should give me the correct angle all right snap there plugged in there and plugged in there so that was obviously the issue I made a mistake there Glad we caught it on film so we can make that correct. So there you go. All right, so the bottom is pretty much assembled. That was step number 10. Number 11 is to insert the wheels. So you'll need to put the wheels on and with the hammer, nail on the caps. So the wheels simply go on to the backs there. Plug them in nicely. Almost fell off the edge there. All right, so we'll put this here. All right, so now we have our hammer. Let's go ahead and put this on. So we're gonna take this here. I wanna make sure we squeeze it in as much as possible. Now we have the wheels rolling, the bottom assembled, 
and we're almost ready to stand it up. Now, I'm assuming this plug here just simply goes over this here. And voila, there's your stand-up grill so far. Okay, so wheels are on. Step number 13 is to add the ash catcher here. And this goes on to the bottom piece. Let's see what, what it looks like. So you're gonna simply put it in right there. This goes. right there and then this can flip this uh, snaps in as well all right so now that catcher goes in it simply lays in these two little slots and then this you squeeze it and it comes in and out just like that all right boom bottom assembled that was step 13 Step number 14, insert the charcoal catcher, insert the grill on top. Okay, so that's that. Now number 15, assemble the handles. So we need to put the screws into the handle there's a front and a back so the front and back here this piece is the back this piece is the front of the handle so you just simply put this here just wedge it in there nicely put this on the outside make sure it says Weber on the facing up snap it together and then you'll use the screw which is provided that in. Boom. Now we just got to screw that in with the Phillips head screwdriver, which I'll grab here in just a moment. So you got that. Next, you will put on the lid and the thermometer. So steps, that was step 15. Step 16 is the lid, which we are going to put on this piece here. And this goes right there. says to use this as the tool so they provide you a little tool in there and you'll just simply unscrew these like so and it says do not drill these do not use the drill all right so those come off plug it into your lid I'm gonna screw it pretty tight. You can kind of hear them getting tight on the actual lid and you'll know that it's tight enough. And then you'll just keep this little screwdriver around or this wrench around so you can use it. And just make sure you grab it, wiggle it, make sure that it's nice and tight. After you've wiggled it a little, give it another couple of screws. Now you can see it's on there nice and tight. The bottom pieces are screwed in. This is also your vent as well, another vent. And then that goes right there. All right. Number 16, number 17 is to install the thermometer. So we've got a bottom piece here. So the bottom piece is going to go on the outside. It actually has a little lip. So you can see this little lip right here. And that lip is going to sit right inside of there. 
just like so. Okay. There's that. Oh, I need to screw that in still. Then we are going to get the thermometer piece here. And we are going to put it into its, its base. And when you put it in the base, it sits flush, as you can see here. All right, and then this time, carefully, actually, I'll just do it over here. You take the wing nut, screw the wing nut in nice and tight, and then you'll just make sure that the Weber is lined up and screw it in nice and tight. There you go. So now that's on there. You can see how the thermometer is in there. That'll actually get the heat control for you. The top is completely assembled. And there's that. Now we're gonna put, alrighty. All right, so now that we've got that screw in there, we can go ahead and screw in the handle with any normal Phillips head screwdriver until it's nice and snug. Check the handle, make sure it's not wobbling. Give it an extra quarter of a turn there and voila. That was step number 17 and done. 18 is to put the lid up on top, which we've done. And there's also a little hook on the inside of the premium one. So you can see there, it's all set up. So Weber kettle grill, premium, super excited, 22 inch with the catcher on the bottom. All right, so here is the finished product after the unboxing, the Weber premium, including the thermometer. and also the catch tray. And this does also help regulate temperature. You can see here, 22 inch Weber Kettle Premium.